Did you know that all successful people, including Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, and Oprah Winfrey, have had executive coaches coach them? Now, we all encounter tough situations in life, job loss, projects gone wrong, stressful situations at home, or business ideas that haven't been successful. In these situations, you can step up as your own executive coach and pull yourself up. And in today's video, I'll share with you five ways in which you can do that. The first one is to change your internal language. The language that you use for yourself plays such a critical role in motivation. According to a research, even small shifts in language that people use to refer to themselves can positively influence their ability to manage their thoughts, feelings, and emotions under stress. For example, Instead of saying, I got this, I say to myself, Rashim, you got this. Rashim, you can do that. When you hear your name in a motivating sentence, the impact is manifold. So instead of using first person in your sentences, use third person. Add your name to a motivating sentence to be your intrinsic motivator. Second is to act on what matters first. It's natural to feel overwhelmed when you are in a tough situation. Now, instead of letting your mind fog with what to do next, write down all the things that you can do to address the situation and pick one that you can act on immediately. Start with a positive self-talk. Distance yourself and imagine that you are your own executive coach and you're guiding yourself on how to tackle this situation. As you are taking action, continue to encourage and support yourself through the challenge with your modified internal language. We all are so good at providing guidance and providing that motivation to others. And being your executive coach means that you bring that same motivation to yourself as well. Third is to write it down. Journaling helps us express our deepest emotions, our fears, and helps us self-reflect. Self-reflection can help identify patterns that evoke our emotions or trigger our stress. Now, you might say journaling is not for me. Um, I don't like the pressure of writing every day. In that case, I highly recommend using my Fast Track Your Leadership Career Guided Journal. The beauty of this guided journal is that it provides you flexibility to doodle on days when you don't feel like writing anything or it takes away the pressure of writing every day. When I started journaling, I had to specially carve out 15 minutes in my day to write something. And sometimes I would get stuck. And that's why when I created this guided journal, Fast Track Your Leadership Career, I wanted to make sure that there was enough guidance for people who sometimes get stuck in putting down their thoughts. So give journaling a try. It is a habit that has made a lot of difference in my personal growth. I highly recommend it to all my coaches. Fourth is to reflect with yourself. Notice that I said reflect with yourself and not just reflect. Ask yourself powerful questions in third person. For example, I ask myself, Rashim, what do you really want from your next job? Or what do you want from your career? Or Rashim, how much of this is really under your control? Being an executive coach to yourself involves asking yourself such deep questions and prioritizing your energy and focus. It also empowers you to dive deep into your inner feelings and evoke those emotions that you have sometimes not encountered in the busyness of every day. Fifth is to prioritize yourself. Between our work and our family, we often forget to prioritize ourselves. Life just goes on. So the first thing that an executive coach does is to help you reflect on your current priorities and bring the focus back to you. Now, this is specifically true in tough situations. So find yourself a quiet spot, reflect on the energy and the emotion that you need to perform your best based on your previous experiences. Create your own optimal environment that helps you perform at your highest level. Do you work better when you are calm and centered or do you work better when you are against a timeline? 
it's all about understanding your energy cycle and creating a schedule and an environment that works best for you. So those were the five ways in which you can be your own executive coach and guide yourself in tough situations. I hope you give these a try. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see you in my next video. Till then, have a successful week. Bye-bye.